Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. I'm here today. I know I had said on Instagram that I was in fact filming last week, the week just gone. Unfortunately, no excuses, but I filmed the whole video. It was fantastic and there was no sound. So, my camera wasn't working, my brother fixed it, so I'm very happy. So I am back with this video, which was requested and I'm happy to get into it. It is another how I pack my bag, which I'm super excited to do for this year. I haven't done one yet. And the bag is going to be on my new Damier Azure Noe BB which I had got from Fashion Fire. That was one of my last unboxings of 2015. We are trading out from my notoriously loved uh, Speedy Bandolier in the size 25 in monogram print. This is, which you all know, my be all and end all bag. I just absolutely adore it. I think if you're looking for a small, compatible, you know, easy to move around crossbody, this is it. I've always said it since my first original review on it. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm gonna put the camera down like I did last year and show you how I pack this bag. I just wanna tell you at the end of this video, I do have a little message to read to you guys from our gorgeous friend, if you follow her too, Karis, LV Lover CC. So I'm gonna read that out to you. First up here is our Speedy B25. And it is loaded from the last uh, three days that I've been carrying it. And I'm going to show you, unfortunately, I haven't got my Samorga bag organizer yet from this, which I said I wanted to get uh, Samorga bag organizer fantastic. So down inside here is just an absolute shambles. I am going to quickly pull out everything. So first up is my... Uh, Zippy coin purse in monogram multicolor. That's there. Uh, my agenda in Damia Azure, the six ring PM agenda. Uh, my glasses. These are my reading glasses from Chanel. I have my keys in still in my monogram uh, keys. A multi clay with the fuchsia lining that's going quite well I like those I have random Panadol in the bottom of this bag I have a random not random sorry I have Sephora dry shampoo uh, because of the short hair I like to keep sort of boosting it up with dry shampoo I have my NYX butter gloss in creme brulee which I have on now a little clip from Colette Heyman for this short hair uh, uh, a hair tie. Uh, this is the soft pouch for my glasses from Chanel for my reading glasses. I often keep that in the bottom. I'm not using my mini pochette and when I don't use it I use this slimmer version from Mimco. Uh, sorry from Witchery. It's a little uh, patent leather and that is all my little essentials. So earbuds, uh, extra cards, extra keys my fantastic uh, Chanel lip balm which I love so that will be my mini pochette then the sunglasses I'm using are in my little sunglass case again from Colette Heyman you can get these from Rebecca Minkoff she makes some good ones too and they are just my tortoise shell Sabo skirt sunnies which I love they're so handy and they weren't expensive so we throw them in there then I have, in the bottom, 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 I have more hair ties because, yeah. <laughs> I have my monogram canvas round coin purse or port monero, which I'm finding goes in every bag now. In, actually in the bottom of the bag is my iPhone 6. It has no case on it. Tut, tut, Jerusha. And in the little... Uh, the little pocket, it's become a bit of a scrap situation. My car key uh, to my car, which I keep separate from my house keys. And then extra coins that my husband, <laughs> I'm blaming him, doesn't put back in my round coin purse. And I always tell him to, but he doesn't listen. So that is it. That is it empty. There's Speedy B25. All of this came out of it. It can hold more than this. It can hold an iPad mini. Uh, it can even hold a regular size iPad just standing out a little bit because I have that. 
And yeah, you guys know how much I love this bag. It is my absolute go-to. Uh, go-to when I'm not sure. So let's see what goes into the Noe. So here is my delightful Noe BB. I learned this fantastic knot from one of my gorgeous friends here on YouTube and Instagram. Her in her Instagram and YouTube account is, I think it's Love Coffee and Louis Vuitton. She's gorgeous. I will link her channel below. She has an OA and she did a video on how you do this slip knot. I did a different sort of version. I just did a few more turns on it so it had a few more uh, sort of wraps around the leather, the leather cord there. And I will take out the stuffing. And there we go. So the if you've been thinking about a Noe, this tie makes it just like, makes life so easy because you just pull it closed and you pull it apart and you don't have to fiddle around with tying a bow. Like, ain't nobody got time for tying a bow. So I'm so happy I learned that first before I pressed purchase on this bag. Firstly, all the miscellaneous things at the bottom of my bag. So all these extra hair ties, hair clip. Uh, gloss and Panadol. This will all go back into my little needs case and we're going to trade this out to my pochette, my mini pochette. Alrighty, so I just did that quickly. I just threw everything back into my mini pochette. This is my mini pochette in Demiary bin. Absolutely fantastic item. I put it up there with some of the starter items I suggest from Louis Vuitton. Just adorable. And it's fantastic for like a catch-all down inside your bag or a necessities pouch is what I use it for. So there we go. So this guy can go in first. And again, I try to do lines. Uh, this bag is actually quite deceiving in the sense that it does hold a bit. Uh, full size wallets and things like that I'll show you, but it does hold a bit. The mini pochette in there, again I'll pick up my Agenda PM in Damier Azure and stack that in front of the mini pochette. Obviously they're just going to fall for now, but they're stacked in front of each other. Then my wallet would be probably good, I'll stack that in front of it. Uh, my house keys, that can go in front of it as well. My sunglasses and um, reading glasses, I tend to stand up on the spaces on the side of the lines. So I'll show you in a second because it's a little bit difficult. I don't really need my dry, dry shampoo for today, so we'll take that out. And then my Port Monero I'll put on the other side. And then next to that I'll put my phone so I know that I'm going straight to that side. And then I, I will keep this because it's handy um, to just throw my glasses in it. So that's what that kind of looks like. Now it, that might be packed in the way of weight. It's probably equivalent to I would say an Armour PM size in the sense of what it can hold and what you can fit to close it. But that's everything I need on a daily basis. And if I needed to put things on top, I definitely can as well. And it will do up. So I will just pop my car key like on the top so I can find it. But either way, having them on either side, you can find them quite easy. And then your center compartment in sort of a line. It's a very easy, uh, accessible bag. You can get, you can access it very easily. And uh, like user friendly wise, it's, it's very nice. I leave it a little bit open and that is it packed for me for the day. Quickly I'm going to show you an option if you don't have a sort of more compact wallet if you wanted to go with that. My biggest wallet I have is my Eugene wallet in multicolor and second to that would be my Emily wallet. These two wallets and an insulate wallet, an insulate wallet, not the insulate organizer, fit in the bottom of this bag. Like it's almost the width of this bag are the size of these wallets. These two wallets are smaller than the width of this bag, but an insulate wallet is almost like exactly the width of this bag. But that is so good to know that you can fit them down uh, standing up. There we go, there's the two of them there. Standing up or sort of laying on the bottom like a base, I guess, if you wanted to do that. 
Um, so to know that a full size wallet fits in this Noe is just so great. So let's say my biggest one is my Eugenie. We'll put that in. Let's go ahead and put everything back in sort of the way I had it. You don't need the, the zippy coin purse. We'll just do this and my phone key. And there we go. That is, that is the largest wallet I have. Now that's heavier. But my gosh, that is so good that this little bag can fit a full-size wallet, a, a, an insulate wallet at that as well. I know that for a fact. And uh, yeah, that's everything down inside this little bag. And more can go on top, as I said, meaning, you know, if you're just picking up the mail and you need to put mail on top there, you can. Alrighty, that is it. That is my Noe BB in Damier Azure. Pre-loved from fashionfile.com, uh, fully packed. That is what I, how I pack it. That is truthfully what I fit in it. That is how I carry it. I am so happy with this bag. I did say that in my Louis Vuitton collection video that it caught me off guard in the sense that Azure wasn't working for my life, but pre-loved Azure works for my life. I, I have. You know, I'm more carefree about it. I don't have to worry as much. So it's really working for me. These are gorgeous little bags and very iconic to Louis Vuitton. Very iconic, the Noe. So that is my Speedy Empty, my Speedy B25, and all inside my Noe BB. So these two, very, very comparable. Which holds more? I would say the Speedy does. You can pack this guy right up. Uh, then, then, then a little bit more than this guy, but still very competitive with each other. Two crossbodies, doesn't have the top handle, but it's not as worrying with this bag. I think a speedy has to, you know, obviously it has the top handles and that's what makes it a two-way so handy. I have a message from beautiful Karis, LV lover CC here on YouTube and on Instagram from her to you guys. She and I are very close friends over the years and she, uh, we've been speaking and she would like me to read this message to you guys so you know where she is at. Hi guys, I just want to let you all know that I am happily pregnant. I am pregnant with my second baby. I am just past my first trimester but I've been having some issues. I've been having a little bit of bleeding and a lot of pain, a lot of nausea during these three months. According to my doctor though, everything is going fine. The baby is still growing, but I am to keep uh, my, I am to take it easy. I am to be on bed rest and I am not to pick up my son, Joshua, her toddler who's three. Uh, I'm not to pick him up. I am to take it easy um, and rest. It's not that I don't want to write back to your comments or make videos on YouTube or be active on Instagram. I'm just doing the best for now to take care of myself and the baby. So I want to apologize to everyone out there, all my subbies, that I have not been around, but I care very much. Thank you so much for all your comments and emails. Uh, I will be back shortly. So thank you so much to everyone. Love always, Karis, LV Lover CC. So that is her message. If you are one of her subbies and you're viewing this video, uh, that's her message to you guys. She is the most gorgeous, gorgeous lady. We chat and I am so excited for her pregnancy, but I wish her the best and I want her to rest. I'm, I'm kind of like the bossy auntie. I'm like, get those feet up, hot chocolates, let's rest. Uh, so that is her message to you guys. Okay, I will finish up by saying, <laughs> you may notice <laughs> this situation happening behind me. This is not like staged. I, I put it neatly behind me. It wasn't this neat originally, but this has been sitting here in our room because I've been shooting it against the white backgrounds because most of this situation is what I am considering for my blog sale. So definitely stay tuned, watch this space. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be really great, guys. I will see you in my next video. We will try and get them back to back a bit more this week. I hope everybody is doing really well, guys. Take care. Peace.